Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the first of the Zenfinex monthly forecast videos for May. Today I'm going to be covering a crude oil forecast by running over the recent supply and demand news events which has set the tone for where this market is heading. The demand news stems mainly around COVID-19 vaccines, fresh lockdowns, whereas the supply news is coming from comments from the OPEC. At the time of recording this video, oil is breaking out to the upside and threatening to burst through key resistance at around $66 per barrel. Okay, so let's start with the OPEC because they came out with some comments uh, that are really supportive for oil prices. Now they kept their word for the gradual easing of oil production, uh, restrictions from May to July, and at the same time they raised their 2021 demand growth forecast to 6 million barrels per day. Um, now this group also expects global stocks to reach 2.95 billion barrels in July. Um, this takes them below the 2015 to 2019 average. And when you combine these factors of supply and demand, there is definitely a reason why we could see oil break out even further to the upside in May. Now another factor uh, to touch on is the progress that we will see in the vaccination programs across the world in May. Now we know that the rate of the vaccination um, in the US and the UK continues to be impressive. I doubt much will change there, there won't be many shocks there. But also uh, there seem to be better efforts coming from uh, North America and Europe. Um, Citibank claimed this could see oil demand reach a record high of around 101.5 million barrels this summer. Um, at the same time, we must also be cautious of the sad news that we're seeing coming out from uh, Brazil and mainly India at the moment. Um, the health system in India is completely overrun and they're seeing at least 300,000 new cases um, of COVID-19 per day. And the variant they have there is a new variant. So it's important to potentially monitor if it spreads elsewhere as well as this could hinder uh, demand for oil. Um, there's no doubt the breakout um, we're seeing in India is halting the oil rally, um, but the other fundamentals are stacking up so strong uh, that I do not see it being too much of an issue yet. And finally, uh, last night we had some really positive corporate earnings, and these were heavily weighted in the oil sector. Now, some examples were uh, Royal Dutch Shell uh, reporting a net income of $3.23 billion, which actually is that's their highest profit uh, since Q3 of 2019. Also, the French Energy Group Total, they reported net income of $3 billion, similar to the levels before the pandemic started uh, for them. And we also had it, it, loads of different companies as well. I think uh, Airbus reported really strong um, earnings as well, the aircraft company. All of these positive earnings highlighted um, that we are going to see, hopefully, a really strong economic recovery. And these should be the catalyst, these earnings should be the catalyst for positive oil prices in May. Okay, so taking a look at the chart now, as it is, um, you can see this lovely breakout we've had. And if I go onto the daily chart, um, when I done the last video on oil um, a few weeks ago now, we had what I noticed. Um, this flag structure forming when we had this consolidation. Um, and I can even replay that for you so you can see where we were roughly when I done the last video. So we had this price action and I wasn't quite sure on it. Um, I was waiting for a breakout on either side. That was my analysis. And as you can see, uh, what we had is I'll slow it down. So we're waiting for price to break out. And as you can see, we've had that breakout um, from the flag structure. So what I went then when I looked for was a retest um, of this and then a look to buy. And you can see um, as the price runs through, There's the retest. There was our signal to buy. And since then, if I speed it up now, that's where we are now. And this was a great buying opportunity um, that we managed to get in on in the community. Um, so that's running really nicely at the moment. But let's have a look at some buying opportunities for now. Now, the first thing that I see straight away is how price um, is respecting our 50 day moving average quite nicely. Um, it's threatened to break below on, on numerous occasions, but it's actually been following it quite nicely. And as you can see, we've had these nice wicks um, as well over the last few days. And it's really been, along with the fundamentals, the catalyst to see these prices go a lot higher. Now, what I'm looking for now, 
um, which we are pretty much there already and you'll probably find by this video I'm not interested in selling this market at all now what I'm looking for is um, our break of this daily high uh, that was set um, about 10 days ago if we can break that high which I mean we're, we're, we're breaking it already but I'd like to see a close above it and um, when we do see that close above it the next buying opportunity for me um, would be around this daily order block here it sits around 62.2 um, and although I'd still have the trade that I've got currently running at the moment for oil um, I'd add to the position here as well and if I zoom out and we look for some uh, take profit levels my initial take profit level for my first buy um, I can see the market easily reaching $68 uh, per barrel daily take profit that's our take profit number one also that would mean a nice clean break of uh, these resistance levels you see um, sitting at around 66 and then to be honest I'd be going to look for um, first of all a key psychological level at 70 around there um, as another one and also finally a long term profit of around 76, 77 um, may see a reaction to the downside from here and I'd probably have most of my position closed by then but just to run it out and, and see how we get on as a bit of a, well, a, a very good swing trade. Now you can see where those take profit levels are on my chart, the green lines. Now if I mark in a buying opportunity, if you was to buy straight from uh, this daily order block, if you was to set a buy limit in, keeping the trading nice and simple, you can see that the risk reward, first of all, for our first take profit is around three and a half. Um, really solid trade, I feel. We would need that pullback and it may not come. Um, this price may run straight up into our take profit, but we still uh, keep our order block in there. Likely to be some price inefficiency as well, where um, price is normally a magnet to this. Now, next take profit level, if I move the, the buyer up, we have a four, pretty much a five R trade, risk reward trade. Um, so if you're risking 1%, you make 5% of your account if it hits there. And our long-term profit, we're looking at around 10% of our account. Um, even if you risk 1% per trade and you hit the take profit here, you're doing better than, than uh, a lot of fund managers are doing in a year uh, just on this trade. So that's a great buying opportunity um, on the daily chart. I'll keep those profit levels in there um, so we can target them as well on the four hour chart as well. Now, one thing I just wanted to quickly note is I pretty much see um, where is it? I pretty much see these equal lows now as our floor of the market for May. What you'll also find um, is there is likely to be lots of liquidity sitting below here. Um, as well so I'll just mark that as the liquidity just so I know um, where a lot of the liquidity is these equal lows are also a great opportunity to buy by the way and if I look on the four hour chart you can see um, the run-up hasn't really left behind um, a much inefficiency potentially in here we can see some price inefficiency where the markets yet to fill so we may see a, a, an opportunity if you trade off of um, fair value gaps inefficiency gaps um, we could see a opportunity where price runs back just to fill this gap um, and then we've reached a fair value in the market and with it being so bullish um, we could then see a really nice rebound after uh, the market is balanced so that would be a nice nice entry as well um, if we can get there and if you was to enter maybe off of the 50% 50, 50 of the inefficiency and aim for the first higher around a 37 hour trade worth worth putting on um, for just for the risk reward as it as it is and the next take profit level around 54 hour trade and now that would be a trade of the year opportunity um, so let's see how price reacts um, if you want to be a bit safer you can just do it at the top but 
I found that uh, some of my research, it's good to do it from the 50% level as well. So that's it for, oh, just quickly on the um, on the RSI as well, which, which could uh, marry into our um, pullback. Uh, we are seeing RSI getting towards um, over overbought territory on the daily chart. You can see we still have some more room to go. So it makes sense for a very short term pullback um, and then we can look to go even higher as well. And just a quick note um, on the US dollar as well, which may be a little bit stronger in May. So anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe to these videos. It really does help support our channel. Drop any comments in the comment section as well on where you think oil is going in May. Um, yeah, and you can message me on my Instagram as well, as always. Um, I like to speak to, to people to hear their opinions on it and hear other people's views. Um, people have different trading styles to me, so it's always great to, to understand the, the whole scope. Um, other than that, guys, I'll catch you all for the next video, which will be next week. Mm -hmm.